Hello! We are back with episode 3 of Mike and Manda Play Final Fantasy 7. Hooray! I don't know why I said that. I'm sorry. And on this episode, I am sober. For now. <laughs> we have survived the polar vortex. It has warmed up. Although, ironically, it feels colder in our house than it was, for me, at least, during the snowstorm. Because it's warm enough outside that the heater turned off. Yeah. <clears throat> I don't know what you're talking about. I'm in shorts and a t-shirt. I don't even have socks on right now. I don't know. I think that I have, like... I never get, like, normal sick. Like, if I get sick, it's like, oh, I have pneumonia. But I think I have, like, an actual cold. Quite possibly from the cold. <laughs> like, my nose has been, like, runny, and I'm fucking cold. Like, I've been chilly. Or I've been too hot. So, like, fever and chills. So, thanks, Winter Storm Yuri, for that. You're welcome. <laughs> Dang. Do they do the Winter Storms alphabetically, too? I have no idea. Because if so, how did we get, like, 23 or 22 whatever other fucking storms that we suddenly missed? Well, similar to Hurricanes, missed. they have to name every single one that's a maybe. Oh, do they? Oh, I would okay. assume so. Like... Every, anytime it becomes a tropical depression, it becomes a name. Tropical depression needs to get some tropical Zoloft. That's so stupid. <laughs> it was cute. I think it was cute, personally. I don't like this guy's face. And his, his hand looks like a fucking USB cord. A little bit. <laughs> There's these dick bags oh he looks like no he looks like um one of the guys from men in black yeah kind of the turks do kind of have that vibe a little bit except they're war criminals fuck them but then they do funny stuff in the in the sequel and we're like haha that's hilarious yeah you were talking about that last you time. stepped on rude sunglasses <laughs> and then he pulled out another pair of sunglasses that are exactly the same out of his jacket pocket isn't that hilarious? How many damn sunglasses does he need? Uh, I don't know. It's unspecified how many pairs of sunglasses that he has. <laughs> I have exactly one pair of sunglasses. Because they're prescription. Mm-hmm. I have a couple pairs. I have my aviators... And then I had this is super fucking dorky. It is, uh, I know but exactly I have what you're a say. pair of gargoyles, <laughs> which is what uh, the Terminator and <clears throat> pretty much every bad guy in '80s movies wore. Yeah, and they're fucking awesome. But they do look a little out of place because there's not a whole lot of sunglasses that kind of look that way now. But fuck it. I don't give a damn. Oh, the lion guy came along. Yeah, he's part of the crew now. Until he's not. But then he goes anyway. He goes away, he's not in the crew later? Well, he basically said, yeah, I'll tag along with you guys until we get to Cosmo Canyon, which is where he's from. Um, but then you get there, and he's like, okay, bye. But then you do a, that little side quest I mentioned where he finds out what actually happened to his dad. Uh, and then the the grandfather uh, encourages him to what, go. Mufasa? What? No. <laughs> no, his uh, the the grandpa <laughs> is just like a regular person. Wait, 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 wait. Only oh. his only his mother and father are are uh, are lion people. Okay, Michael. What? This reminds me of the jail scene from Spaceballs. <laughs> no, nobody knows. Nobody knows. The trouble, the trouble I've seen. She's a baritone. <laughs> She's a bitch. 
I think Spaceballs was one of, like, the first things that we ever, like, connected on. Maybe? Not like, Kevin Smith's body horror tusk? <laughs> no, I'm talking, like, before we went out. Like, on a date. When, when you first got the courage to send me a message. I actually wish that Pretty I could... Pretty sure it was Robocop. Yeah. Yeah, no, that was my... Yeah, because I... I was like in my in my OK Cupid profile I was like um I like, like RoboCop a lot. <laughs> I like RoboCop a lot. <laughs> yeah, so I mentioned the uh the remake. Uh and then I brought up how I used to have a I used to have an airsoft uh M93R mm -hmm. which is what they modified for the RoboCop movie. Yeah, like, it was, I brought it up because, like, I was not on there, like, out just, I didn't use it, like, Tinder, like, I wanted to meet someone, like, I would enjoy talking to and, like, fucking around with, which is a, a sentence that I just realized could be taken a number of ways. <laughs> mm -hmm. So... Like, there was that guy who told me I talked about RoboCop too much. And that the guys wouldn't like it. <laughs> so I just went in and I put in my profile. I was like, listen, I really love RoboCop. You should also love RoboCop. Mm -hmm. And then, what did you... You, like, looked at my profile a bunch, right? Before you messaged me? Well, you were kind of the last resort. What? No, you weren't. <laughs> no, I there wasn't. Because was, there was a whole lot of other ladies that I messaged first, but they didn't respond. So I'm like, well, <laughs> all right, I guess. I'm going to interject and just, that is not what he told me when we first started talking. <laughs> because I lied. Michael had a little crush on me and he was nervous about messaging me because I, I was so cool. Those are all lies. <laughs> He looked at my profile for like three months before he messaged me. I said what needed to be said to get your pants off. <laughs> You're so full of shit. You're not that smooth. Well, in in my defense, <laughs> you didn't really make me wait that long. And may my mother never listen to this. Those pants Amen. were off. Um, Same day. No, they weren't. No, they weren't. 24 hours. Pants were off. I actually don't remember how long it was. It wasn't like weeks or months or anything. No, it was, it was days. <laughs> <laughs> it was less than a hundred hours. I that's too much math. <laughs> I don't want to do that math right now. But I friend zoned you first and then unfriend zoned you later. Mm-hmm. And you wanted to trade up. I did. <laughs> Man. Kick him. He's dead. We'll kick him anyway. <laughs> what are... Oh, are those toilets? Yeah. Oh. These are jail cells. Okay. I went to jail once. <laughs> <laughs> let me... Let me... Dazzle you <laughs> with my tale of crime. I had a traffic ticket. Like 12 years ago, right after I moved to Texas, I was working in a mall at the time and was very poor. I paid half of the ticket and then forgot about it because more important bills cropped up and I was making like 250 bucks a week or something sad like that. Um, so then... Three or four years later, I got pulled over for a busted taillight or something. And they put out a warrant for me. Dangerous criminal that I was. And it was like 400 bucks that I didn't have. And they kept me overnight. And then the entirety of the following day. So they wouldn't let me speak to anyone or see anyone until like 
Like I got pulled over after work on my way home about 9 p.m. 9.15 maybe. And I didn't get out of the jail cell until the next day after 5. Um, thankfully my boss at the time was right behind me when I got pulled over. So she went, she and her husband went and picked up my car. I just left it where it was. And she drove my car home. Because otherwise I wouldn't have been able to get my car out of the impound. Um, so fuck capitalism and raise the minimum wage. Also, jail is very boring. <laughs> Don't go to jail. Zero out of ten. No fun. It was cold. There were no blankets or pillows. Didn't have a coat with me. It was December. It sucked. There's a guy I worked with that uh, he had to go to jail like every weekend. Oh, you told me about this. What was it? Was it like DUI or something? What, what probably was he, what it's was probably something off? like that. I don't I don't remember exactly what the deal was. Ridiculous. Yeah, he. You said he would like. What would he do? He would just like drive there every weekend and just like get in the jail cell. Yeah. Yeah, they work out those kind of deals. You spend all your weekends there. That sounds like zero fun. Yeah. Hey, what are you doing this weekend? I'm going to fucking jail. <laughs> well, shit. What about next weekend? Jail. <sighs> going to jail. <laughs> but you know what, though? At least, like, if you know you're going to jail and you know how long you're going to be there, you can plan. Yeah. Like. Yeah, so he said he used to go to titty bars, like, on Tuesdays and shit instead. <laughs> so sad. <laughs> Said all them bitches knew me over there and on Tuesdays. I'm like, oh no, it's Jacob. Let's get out of here. <laughs> like, you could pad your pockets with snacks because after a while you have to imagine they stop, you know, patting you down. I don't think that's the case. Really? Yeah. That would suck. I would be angry. He said they would give you like a uh like a Ziploc bag that's half full of like Cheerios and a, a bologna sandwich. Ew. And then, so there you go. That's your fucking food this weekend. For the whole weekend? No, they're just give me this another, another bologna sandwich and a bag of Cheerios. I, what did I eat there? Um, it was like packaged. It was like a breakfast biscuit sandwich. And then, for, for breakfast, and then like lunch and dinner was, it was like one of those triangle cut sandwiches that mm -hmm. you would get in like a gas station or something. Yeah. And that was it. So I got two of those, and then they gave me breakfast. I actually think they gave, they did, even though it was like 9 p.m., they did give me, like, dinner a couple hours after I got there. Um. Well, isn't that nice of them? Yeah. But they were really fucking rude. Like, it was the, like, the most... <laughs> it's fucking... It's jail. <laughs> I know! <laughs> I like, how... Shouldn't have it's been not, there. I'm not yeah, a criminal. It's, it's, it's not, fucking stupid. Like... The only thing criminal here is your fashion choices. Mm, you fuck need to you. Ditch those fucking cardigans. You know what? They keep me warm in the office, so... And in the house now, because the, the house is my office. I've never been in prison uh, or jail, but I have been pulled over many times. Tell me about the times you've been pulled over. Oh, Jesus. Well, almost all of them were because I was driving too fast. What a surprise. How many tickets have you gotten? Four or five, something like that. You drive for a living. How do they, like... That was a long time ago. Oh. I almost went to jail for one of them because I was going like 98 and a 55. Why would you and do think, that? That's so dangerous. It's not, it's, not, it's not that dangerous. Calm down. It's pretty dangerous. You know how fast people go on the Autobahn? Was they go like 140 miles an hour on that fucking road. Hello, Rufus. He's a dick bag too. And a ginger. Do you think that was on purpose? 
Uh, probably not. Because <coughs> Red Thirteen's a ginger too, but he's kind of he's a bro, if, if not kind of a baby. Although I guess it does make sense because it, it says he's like fifty something years old, but apparently uh, that type of animal lives like hundreds and hundreds of years, so he's basically like a teenager, which is why he acts like this. Like, uh, I'm too fucking cool. That, rem <laughs> that reminds me of. I'm um, not gonna tell you my name. You can just fucking call me whatever. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> That's funny. Go to the save point. Did you save? Uh oh, I'm not supposed to go that way. No, I didn't. But I'm not gonna die here. Go back and sakes. get a soda. What? No, I don't think you can. Oh, you can't even get a soda in this game. <sighs> Oh, game designers. It's fucking lost potential. Look. Oh, you can't use the Ooh, you can't battle. use the uh the, the the fucking vending machines in Cyberpunk 2077. So You can't? No. Why not? Because the game is bad. Mm. That's that's all I got. It's just a bad game. <laughs> Do you remember the time I missed the part you were telling me? I missed the part of your story where you were telling me it was something that happened in Cyberpunk. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, and you thought like it's something that actually happened to me. Yeah. No, because I was just I was just I driving was... along, and a uh, this is like the only funny thing that happened in the game, because the game sucks so bad. Um, but they, uh, I was just driving around, and a taxi rams into me and completely destroys my car, and then. <laughs> It yells out, beep, beep, motherfucker, and then drives away. <laughs> so you thought that happened to me in real life. <laughs> because if my car was completely destroyed, I would definitely just say it nonchalantly while I'm playing on the computer hours after I had left the house. It's still so funny. Um, I took a drink of water <laughs> right before you said, beep beep, motherfucker. And now I have water in my nose. Good. And it really, oh my god, that hurts. Ow, that's not pH balanced. Like my <laughs> sinus rinse. Ow. The only other good line that came out of that game was, uh... You, you're briefly playing as a girl, like, because you're, like, seeing things through her eyes briefly or something like that. And, uh, that's fine, whatever. And, uh, so she steps out of an, eleva an elevator, and there's this great big gigantic, like, monster, like, cyborg that walks past you. And he looks at you, and he's like, you look like a cut of fuckable meat. <laughs> and that, I actually died of laughter. Because it was so hilarious. What the fuck? What the fuck? What? What's your problem? That's rude. It's, it's funny. It's hilarious. It's not. You look like a cut of fuckable meat? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> <laughs> the rest of the game sucks so bad. I was expecting the next level of interactivity and immersion, and it was not that. By a fucking long shot. <laughs> Let me tell you my hot dog story in Cyberpunk. So, <laughs> so I'm walking around, and I see a hot dog vendor. And I'm like, fuck it. Let's get a hot dog. So I walk up to the, the hot dog vendor expecting either one of a couple things to happen. Either A, he'll sell me a hot dog and I'll stand there and eat it. Or B, he'll give me some kind of like servicey kind of dialogue. Like, get your hot dogs here. Hot and fresh. Fresh out of the steamer. Come get your hot dog. <laughs> Something like that. But they wouldn't actually sell it to me. I would be okay with either. Yeah. But do you know what this motherfucker tells me anyway? As soon as I walk past him, the guy selling hot dogs tells me, What the fuck are you looking at? And I'm like, What the fuck just happened? 
What in God's name is this poorly designed piece of shit game? Holy fucking shit. My boy Nico from fi uh, fucking Grand Theft Auto 4 that came out in 2008 could buy a hot dog from a hot dog vendor. Yeah. At the, it was that at that point I was just fucking done with that game. I was like this is this is 2020, not anymore, but when the game came out. I could not believe that a game of sub this supposed size had had left that something like that as as just an oversight. I could not believe it. Mhm. Mm Fuck Poland. <clears throat> yeah, gotcha, motherfucker. Yeah, you helicopter looking fuck. Yeah. Propeller have an ass, motherfucker. <laughs> I hate this meme so fucking much. Which one? But <clears throat> I identify as a attack helicopter. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, it's funny. It's fine. <laughs> like, I hate that meme because it's fucking stupid and ignorant. But, um... It's so stupid that you can't help but laugh at it. Like... Yeah. What's that thing? I think it's from Billy Madison. <clears throat> it's another meme and it's like, that was so fucking stupid. We're all stupider for listening to, or something like that. Was it Billy know? Madison? I don't know. I actually haven't seen that movie, but I know which, which one you're talking what? about. It's like, all of us are actually dumber for having heard yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like it is Billy Madison because, do you know the the plot of that movie? Yeah, he's like a, he has to go like back to school or yeah, something like that. Yeah, he has to go like back to fifth, fifth fucking grade or something, yeah. or maybe it's all school, I don't remember. But then the end is like him and the the dad from Get Out. Uh, is like, oh, the merman guy from Cabin. Oh Peter, yeah, 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 yeah. Who was on the West Wing? Yeah, I got gotcha. you. You know, he's married to the mom from Malcolm in the Middle. Fun really? Fact. Yeah. What else has she been in? I don't think anything that's like coming to mind. Nothing big, anyway. I don't think I don't think Brian Cranston, the the dad, ever did anything else either. I yeah, no, just... I haven't, you know, that's funny that you mentioned that because I haven't seen him in anything since, like, no, definitely no seasons-long prestige dramas. Yeah. Just kind of dropped off with the face of the earth. Face of the earth, which is a, oh, you know what, no, he did, pa he, po he, blah, blah, blah. he popped up in the uh, remake of Total Recall. He was the villain. Oh, yeah. 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 So that's what he's, that's what Brian Yeah, Cranston's the Total Recall remake, yeah. 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 That fucking cinematic masterpiece. One might even say his career broke bad. Not even a chuckle? Go it's, fuck It's yourself. too early to end the episode. <laughs> I just want you to know that. But if, if we were 45 minutes in, I absolutely would have shut this fucker down. <laughs> anyway. Um... Apparently, I forget exactly what it was, but he actually did quite a bit of uh, voice work for anime in the early 90s, too. I'd have to look it up. I'll probably put it up here somewhere on the screen for, for you to view. Uh, but then he was also, like, in a movie called Dead Space, which has no connection to the video game series. But it's, um... Uh, it was a... Remake of mm -hmm. a movie called Forbidden Planet or Forbidden World. I forget which one it is. Uh, which was a, an alien knockoff. Hold on. Which hold wasn't on. bad. We watched it for October hold movie on. month. Hold on. Look at a uh, disco villain over there. He's gonna be trying real hard to. to be See, I don't get this. Shit. Like, what is he? What is he like laughing hysterically his for? Belt. His wardrobe. You looked in the mirror. And realize he's dressed like yeah, fucking it's, John Travolta. It's, well, it's it's typical <laughs> like it's typical like anime style like bad guy. Yeah. Okay. Seriously, it that looks, looks cool, but it's real fucking impractical. Like for real, guy, you might fall off of that. Yeah, it's just like an action trope. Yeah. 
Um, and I just realized my microphone was a little bit far away, so hopefully everything I've been saying the last few minutes I'm sure it's probably caught. fine. He's, he's like, I'm actually fairly sensitive. Also, I'm sorry, I coughed a while ago into the microphone. Directly into the... You can hear, like, <coughs> the little <laughs> droplets okay, of... Okay, stop. That's gross. Phlegm. None of... Ew. <laughs> None of that. Of sputum is what it okay, was actually goodbye. called. goodbye. <laughs> no. Amanda is very, very easily grossed out, so I make it my mission to gross her out as often as possible, <laughs> always. You're dumb. Because it's funny, You're and really dumb. it makes me laugh. Your face is really funny, and it makes me laugh. Just kidding. I love no, your face. Oh, killed himself. <laughs> Ew, he's got legs on top of his head? What the fuck? Yeah. Every episode, I'm telling you, every, every episode is just weirder, is just more and more weird bad guys. <laughs> Stupid. If you heard that, I'm sorry, my phone just tapped against the thing that's in front of the stop, microphone. Stop announcing everything. I'm sorry, I sing songs when I'm doing the dishes. I can't help it. And when I'm making dinner. When you do anything, you announce everything you ever do. <laughs> there was, it was so weird because now I'm hyper aware of it because there was an episode of How I Met Your Mother where they, uh, they talk about everyone's like annoying habits or whatever. And I think it was Jason Siegel's character would sing a song about what he's doing. He'd be like, Doing my taxes, I'm doing my taxes. And I do that same thing. <laughs> yeah. And I saw it and I was like, Wah. and now it's been in my head ever since. Every time I sing my song, I'm like self conscious about it. <laughs> There's dogs outside and they're barking. Yes, I know. He barks forever. Ruff, ruff. I don't want to pet him. He sounds mean. Or I don't know. Maybe he's just ruffled. This part's so awesome. Middle school Michael thought this was the coolest shit he'd ever seen his entire life. Mostly, I think this is probably the first, first game I ever played that had any kind of like cinematic, uh, mm -hmm. cinematic like, like video. Format. Yeah. Yeah. Is that Cloud? Yeah. Did you get did you get to this part when no, you played? Definitely not. Where the fuck did you get a motorcycle, Cloud? Uh, it's on the second floor. You walk right past it. Oh. <laughs> Chief is in a fucking like <laughs> stupid truck. Yeah. Well, it's an attempt to like make stuff like weird looking mm -hmm. it's intentional okay that's very unsafe it's so fucking cool <laughs> I went on the swoopy thing yesterday what the fuck are you talking about <laughs> the um overpass I didn't realize how long the overpass was yeah, it goes over a few intersections. It's probably pretty nice, I imagine. So what happened was, uh, this is the first time, you know, I've been in the house for a year. Haven't been to the office in nine or ten months. Somewhere between the house and my office, they were building a huge overpass um, at a major intersection that connects to a freeway. And in order to keep people from having to stop and traffic get backed up, if you just need to cross the freeway, um, they built this overpass. And it took, when it first happened, Years. I was, yeah, when it first happened, I was really pissed off because it was, I was going to have to change my commute um, and, and find a new route. And they were like, and it won't be done until 2020. Maybe 2021, and I was like, God damn it. I was so fucking pissed off. Um, this is going to take forever. And then we ended up working from home for a year. It's 
going to be over a year now. So yesterday we didn't have internet, so I had to go into the office. Um, Hold on, uh, let me let me let me put you on pause for just a second here. But like this shit too, this was like it's a freeway fight. Yeah, it's a freeway fight. <laughs> like it's a whole different kind of game now. Yeah. I'll be it briefly, but like that that shit blew my fucking mind when I was in middle <laughs> school because I mean, how many Mario games yeah. are like where the game is like this much different from the rest of the game? Yeah, there's like little bonus and like little mini games and stuff like that, but like they they always felt like kind of like disconnected from the the rest of the game. Yeah. I'm sorry. Continue. This shit's rad. Um. So I'm like the whole way. Like you know how I get the whole way up highway six as i'm approaching the overpass which i forgot the word overpass i couldn't think of what the word was and so i i texted him yesterday and i was like am i okay to take six is the swoopy thing done the swoopy thing (laughs) and i figured he would know exactly what i meant because there was a lot of energy put into finding me an alternate road to work yeah even though you never take my advice no, I did. I take that road now. That's the way I take. Is, or it was. After way. after you tried, you're like, no, that's stupid. I'm going to do my own thing first. <laughs> yeah, and you, then your you way was better. fucking idiot. But I, I and thought, I was like, well, goddamn. I and thought. Then, <laughs> <laughs> and then get, lo and behold, <laughs> guess, who's which, guess whose way was the best way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So anyway. um, So I thought he would know exactly what I meant, but it's also been almost a year and so I text him, and I'm like, can I take six? Is the swoopy thing done? The the thing? And and he was like, the fuck are you talking? Like, yeah, he didn't... I was like, take six what? Because I thought she was saying, like, like take five, but one more. And then, <laughs> <laughs> and then the swoopy thing, and I had, I had no idea what the fuck that meant. <laughs> yeah. If, um... if Amanda... I mean, I guess California is kind of another country, but I, 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 oh, sometimes I, I wonder if English was her first language. So you were like, WTF are you talking about? What the fuck are you talking about? And I'm like, the whoosh slide. The whoosh slide. Yes. What's it called? The thing they were building. (laughs) And you're like, on 1960, the overpass. Oh, I get it. Take Highway 6. Yes, it's done. Yeah. Well, it's not done, but you can take the overpass. So, I'm... I forgot I called it the whoosh slide. But that's a fucking accurate description of what it is, so... No, not in the slightest. (laughs) So, I'm, like, driving up 1960 or Highway 6, however you want to call it. And I'm approaching, and I'm like, oh, no. What if I'm in the wrong lane? Because I haven't haven't been on it. So, I'm getting, like, anxious. But... One, they're, like, they had painted the signs on the, on the street to tell you, you know. Set your ass on fire. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Set your ass on fire. Yeah. <laughs> um, you know, stay in this lane to go on the overpass. Stay on this lane if you need to get on the freeway. So I actually didn't have to do anything. I didn't have to switch lanes at all or anything at all. Um, but I didn't realize, like, I thought it was going to be much shorter than it was. So I started to, like, worry, because it's, it's probably a good two miles long. It's not fucking two miles long. Get the mm, fuck out of here. It's but it, it does it does go over multiple intersections, not just not just the uh, not just the freeway. It's long enough that I started getting nervous I was going to be lost. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> yeah. Where are Amanda Mercy now? <laughs> but it was fine. <laughs> um... But I wasn't sure what I was going to find or anything as I'm going, like, up the hill. And so I'm going, like, the speed limit or a few miles under. And um, somebody passed me. I was like, fuck this guy. Everyone else is going slow, too. But the traffic was so heavy yesterday that it didn't really cut the time down much because there were so many people on the road for whatever reason. That is terribly unfortunate. Yeah, that's my story. I hope you enjoyed it. I am fucking enthralled. (laughs) 
stupid. This guy is. Is the motherfucker six dead yet? God damn! How many times do I gotta zap you with electricity? Oh, his eyes are cannons. He looks like like fucking Wally on steroids. Mm. Doesn't he? I suppose so. You know what I'm saying. He does. Gotcha, bitch. God damn. <laughs> Oh, good. I never use it, though. So I just got a new limit break for uh, Barrett, but I never use it. Basically drains the enemy's magic points instead of their health points. I'm gonna steal your magic. Well, it, it would be cool Find if he absorbed it, but he just HP. it just depletes the, the enemy's magic. Sephiroth. That you know, does not really roll off the tongue, Sephiroth. Well, you know what? Blame the Jews, because Sephiroth you? is a Jewish name. Is it really? Yeah. You're going to cut that out of here. <laughs> I'm absolutely not going to. M Michael? No. You're going to cut it out. No! <laughs> tell, tell them what you just did! I just pulled your slipper off and threw it across the house, so now you have one cold foot. <laughs> you Motherfucker. petty bitch! I'm not uh, but anyway, going so, to contribute anything more to this podcast. It's not a podcast. It's a <laughs> let's play. Whatever. I'm not contributing anything more to this episode until my footwear <laughs> until is your slipper is returned. returned. Yes. <laughs> Goodbye. Well, it's just me then. Oh, Michael Donovan. Yeah, I moved the microphone away from my head. What does the thing in front of the microphone do? It's called a pop filter. What's it? It kind of cuts down on some of the, the noise. Anyway, so the Jews. <laughs> um, Sephiroth is a Jewish name for a I don't I should actually I probably should have looked it up I looked it up the other day but it's called the tree of life and it's from oh my god what the hell is it it's like the Kabbalah Jews or something like that I don't know I'm not educated I don't actually know anything um, but it actually it makes a brief appearance in a uh, end of Evangelion do you remember? You, I, there's absolutely no way you're gonna remember this, but um, in the end, when uh, when all the other Avas like come back to life and they basically string up Unit One with Shinji inside, and this great big gigantic like like archaic looking symbol pops up in midair. Contribute. You're so stupid. Fine. Get your fucking slipper. <laughs> You're so lazy. You can't do it yourself. Although I guess in your defense, it wasn't you that threw it across. The <laughs> well, yes, it was not a problem of my own making. Hi, I'm back. <laughs> well, then don't kick me then. <laughs> I, I I took a history class once, not to brag. You're just, like, staring into space the whole time? No. <laughs> I have, like, a very fundamental understanding of history. Like, I know I, the I, basics. I don't buy it for a second. I know the... Or not fundamental. Rudimentary. I understand the basics. What's I underneath... Get the what's, what's underneath rudimentary? <laughs> you put the rude in rudimentary. Stop it. <laughs> Stop it. They need to spice up their victory dances. I want to see one of them do the cabbage patch. What the fuck is the cabbage patch? Oh, it's this. When, here. Ben Affleck does it in Chasing Amy. Oh my god, you're so stupid. You guys can't see it, I just did the cabbage patch for him. Okay, well... <laughs> 
I've had enough of you. <laughs> so we're going to go. Over. We're episode over. We're just done. <laughs> womp, womp. <laughs> Besides, there's a long flashback that's coming up here shortly, and I just don't want to. You don't want to fuck with I it. I don't want to sit with through that right now. <laughs> Thanks for listening. Thanks for listening.